Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to the Union Network Podcast, Episode 4. Today, we got special guests Isaac and Brandon with Expediters Online and On Time Media. These guys bring you so much awesome stuff in the Expediters world. I'm sure you're already familiar with them. Uh, not much needs to be said about these guys. But we want to talk to you today about, uh, you know, the expo that's coming up again in a month. Uh, kind of talk about some other things that they're doing out here in, uh, you know, uh, expeditorsonline.com and ways that, you know, we uh, everybody, you know, they're, they're, they're doing a lot of the same things that the union is in terms of creating networks and and opportunities and different things for for all of you. So there's going to be a ton of value here. Uh, let's go ahead and drop right in. Isaac, how are you feeling today, brother? Man, it's Friday. It's it, the sun is shining outside. I'm going to a waterfall tomorrow with my little girl, my little boy. Hey. Uh, I can't complain, man. I mean, life is good. How about you guys? Things are going good over here on my end. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to build more resources, build more connections, so that way I can figure out or have better opportunities on the road in the expediting world. So it's all a time process for me right now, but hopefully to inch my way towards more steeper things and and get my hands on more opportunities. That's what I'm looking for. Hey. How are we all, my man? Yeah. yeah, man. For me, you know, I uh, yeah, I, I've been hanging out with the family all morning and since last night. Uh, so it's been nice. Today's Friday. Fridays are usually a little bit chiller for me. Uh, so and especially this week, it's been like talking about wearing the fireman, you know, with the fire hat. Like it's been like, <laughs> dude, I've been putting out fires all week. You know, I had I had, you know, I'm, I'm a logistics manager within wow. this uh, e-com company. And um, last week we just had these major issues, man, with this driver. And it just. I, I'm now just creating all these processes and putting out the fires and trying to solve all the problems. And like, we're at the end of the week now and it's like running smooth and I can breathe. And like, I'm not having to wake up every morning, 6 a.m. Just like putting things out, man. So, so, it, so feels, it feels relaxing today. Quick second, guys. Sorry to interrupt the podcast, but I need to tell you guys a little bit about our partnership, Spoke Logistics. Spoke Logistics is hiring owner operators for dedicated medical courier work and the best part about it is it's local and you're home every day with consistent income weekly. So guys, if you're interested in this type of work, definitely check out the Union Facebook group as we're updating new lanes and opportunities from Spoke every single day in that group. So make sure you guys to check it out and let's return back to the podcast. Yeah. Anyway, let me let me let me turn turn this podcast back around on you, man. As a guy who who looks for quality drivers, then yeah, I can ask you on your own show, man. What are things that you would recommend drivers sure. stay away from? Behaviors that uh, you know set them apart as good and set them apart as people that you might not want to do business with. I mean, I mean, dude, it's it's so simple, man. <laughs> it's so simple. It's like the biggest thing, man communication and accountability, right? Like, I think those are the absolute most important and also the most overlooked, right? It's like certain people have like, you know, this need to, to, to withhold things and not, not be communicative and, 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 and maybe they do it with the intention of like, I'm going to solve this. I'm going to figure this out. But when you're not communicating and nobody else around you is aware of what's going on, problems just pile up right yeah community it makes it worse for everybody else involved worse that so yeah. worse you yeah. know and, and and again i get it you know in this situation like you know uh, th this guy was was trying to right do what he thought was best right and and, right. and i commend yeah. that but at the same time you know hey man i gotta know what the heck's going on so just keep me updated yeah. you know other than that though yeah just accountability like you know if you say you're gonna do a route if you say you're available and and you're gonna be doing yeah. this you know do it right show yeah. up get it done take care of the customers make sure that they're happy you know make sure you're dropping off the right stuff at the right houses a lot of this stuff that we're doing is you know uh final mile local delivery routed opportunities you know in different cities across the u.s and uh it's 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 very important that i can trust and depend that if i give you these routes every week you're going to show up you're going to get them done because if not guess what amazon they don't like when we're late they we need to be on time or else, you know, we start getting customer complaints. We start getting all sorts of problems, man. So like, really, those are the two most important things, man. If you can communicate and you can be upfront and you can let me know what's going on, especially when problems happen. And like, don't be afraid that like, you're going to get in trouble. Just like, yo, we need to know, man. And then, and I'll solve it. Like, that's fine. Uh, man. 
Man, that reminds I, me. I could just go off on that, man. <laughs> <I can tell. laughs> right. We're yeah. here for you. Go ahead and let it out. <laughs> coming, coming back to what you were saying, Cameron, dude, one of my direct brokers told me that he had a guy on a load, and it was a, a load delivering to Vegas. So yeah. this guy who was driving the load spent 17 hours in the casino and was late to his drop. And guess oh. what happened? The broker lost a customer that was doing one3 million dollars in gross revenue so wow. it's very important to be reliable show up on time be professional have a clean van uh have a great appearance um communication punctuation all these things are important yeah. uh just being all around a pro professional guy and yeah, man. and brokers will take notes you you might get more Absolutely. calls than the next guy who's yeah. bidding so moving forward it's always it's always good to uh just be that all-around guy yeah, I mean, um, the, 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 the thing that shines through with what you guys both just said is all that stuff can be applicable as a driver, as a, as a professional in another industry, but also as a, a as human person. being. As a person. Yeah, a yeah. human yeah. being. As an individual. I mean, when you, yeah. when you go, when you go to, to, to marriage counseling or, or any yeah. kind of counseling, it's, hey, make sure that you know how to talk to each other, that mm -hmm. you're repairing your relationships every single day, and two, that you do what you say you will do. And if you That's can it. do those things, those are the two things that you said, Cameron. If you can do those two things, there's a very high floor in life. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Those are, yeah, those are just like simple principles in life, man, that can be applied everywhere. And uh, yeah, man, if y'all are listening and, and those are areas that are like not your strong suits, you know, just dive in, see, see what's going on. Yeah. But you're gonna want to sharpen those, uh, sh sharpen the iron there, man, for sure. Yeah. Because that's uh, that's gonna make or break you in all aspects of life, to be honest. Guys, yeah. guys, Brandon, Mr. Brandon <laughs> Baxter. Awesome. Yeah, let's get. <laughs> hey, we gotta get some spotlight yeah. on our new guest, Brandon Baxter. Brandon, can you tell us a little about what you do in this industry and and pretty much oh. you know provide some information? What kind of time we got? <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been in i've been in this industry specifically really the expedite for for about uh well 15 years now that's that's taken some breaks you know myself in and out i i, I make the joke uh you know I've, I've tried to get out of trucking several times and i keep getting pulled back in <laughs> but you know ultimately what it comes down to is that i've been doing it long enough i i know a lot of the people in the industry um I started out as a recruiter uh, with Panther 15 years ago oh, wow. and uh, did that for four years. I stepped away from Panther. I was hired in and, and helped start up V3 transportation. I was one of the first four people that they brought in to uh, to really, you know, uh, build the recruiting department, build their marketing and advertising with V3. Loved that opportunity. Moved on from that, took some time away and uh, got back into it now. And uh, I, you know, I, I, I've said to Isaac and Christy, who I know you guys had on with Isaac a couple weeks ago, um, I've always wanted to work with on-time media. I, mm. From from the time I first worked as really as a customer with the company, you know, from from the days of Lawrence, you know, and and uh, and working with those guys and and you know learning the industry at that point, and having had the opportunity now to be a part of the company with on-time media, whether it's been you know working on the side of expediters online, just cdljobs.com. Um, you know, now I, I get an opportunity to work with drivers on a regular basis through our, our recruiting efforts, which, which is higher on time or what we call HOT. So it, it, um, uh, it gives me an opportunity to continue doing what I've always done, which is talk with drivers, uh, on, on really, you know, on a base level, kind of, you know, echoing what you guys were saying. Uh, it's very important, you know, to, 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 you know, be a driver that can hold themselves accountable and be willing to let others hold them accountable too. If, if there's some correcting that needs to be had, yeah. you know, so, um, you know, just this morning I was talking with a wonderful team, young husband and wife team, a couple that are looking to get an expedite for the first time. They've never done it. And, you know, they, they're coming from, you know, traditional trucking, you know, truckload. Mm -hmm. And, and it was an opportunity to have, I mean, we had a conversation for an hour, wow. you know, because they came with great questions and, right. and I can appreciate when someone comes in with with great questions to ask, and it gives me an opportunity to express to them, you know, I want first of all as a recruiter, I want to make sure that you're getting into an industry that you're going to feel comfortable with, because I mean, let's be honest, guys, if if you hadn't done it before, and maybe you're coming from that 
that traditional tr trucking sense, Expedite is wild. You know, you, you yeah. find yourself going someplace different all the time. You know, there's not exactly a rhyme or reason as to the loads that you're picking up or you're being offered or where you're, you know, delivering. It's something different all the time. To me, that satisfies the, the personality in me, which is the type of person that I'm a creative individual. I like to be doing something different all the time, mm. you know. Yeah. And, and I think that for an expediter, I think that that can be exciting. Now, if you're not cut out that way, you know, if that's if, if you have to have things scheduled and regimented, eh, it might not be the thing for you. But, you know, you, you learn that as you get into it, though. Mm. Wow. Very true. That's uh, that was speak that's on a lot that, of Jacob. Word, that's a lot of word salad I just gave you. That's speak on, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, speak on that point, Jacob. You know, I mean, obviously, you know, I, I, I personally, I'm not an expediter, right? And I, I built my business locally, but you are, Jacob, mm -hmm. and like, you know, speak a little bit to that life, right? Yeah, as an expediter, you really never know what you're gonna get. Um, with there's a, there's a lot of differences between you know trucking and, and then being a uh, in a cargo van. Um, yeah. the, the differentials are in a cargo van, you could do whatever you want. I mean, yeah. you could park anywhere. Um, you don't have to worry about uh, taking special routes. Um, right. no ELDs. Yeah. None of right. that. No. Yeah. You could, you could, I don't recommend it, but you <laughs> don't, drive yeah. uh, for as long as you want. Um, <laughs> not only, safe. Yeah. The only thing guys in the expediting realm is sometimes it could be inconsistent, meaning, You'll sure. have a lot of load offers posted, but you might not have the right equipment, such as touching, you know, dock height and things mm -hmm. like in that nature. But other than that, it's just the have that freedom is what I love so much about expediting, seeing new places um, and, and getting there fast on time. And there's there's a lot of opportunities in this realm. Um, but like I said, starting off. Starting off, you gotta, you gotta. <laughs> it's like a time game. You gotta build, you gotta build those connections and resources. Yes. You, do, you will do just fine in this uh, expediting realm, and also sign on to a reputable carrier, guys, to keep you loaded. That is my biggest uh, recommendation. Yeah. Hey, man, I hope you guys are enjoying today's podcast. Uh, today's podcast is brought to you by Tucker, Alvin, and Associates. These guys are the real deal, man. They've already helped so many of our members. Essentially, they are a commercial debt collection agency. They ensure maximum debt recovery without jeopardizing your client relationships. Now, one of the things I love about these guys, man, is it don't cost you anything unless they actually you know, receive money for you. So if you got past due accounts that you're waiting to get paid on, man, hit them up. You can call Tyler at 877-455-4572, extension 310, man. Tap in with them. Let's get you guys your money, man. And we'll see you back over here at the episode. You know, if I, if I could jump on top of that, Jacob, because I, I talk with a lot of people during the day, whether it's, you know, drivers, uh, I, I'll, get, I'll get leads that I call on and these individuals are, are you know, they have their own authority and they've oh. got box trucks or sprinter vans or, or what have you. And, and it's not always that they're looking to lease on with another company, kind of like what you said, Jacob. Um, but what they're looking for is they're looking for more freight opportunities. And so if it's something that I could help them with, I might not be able to put them on with a company or a carrier. Um, but I can at least, hey, if they've got their own authority and they're just looking for more loads, I explain to them, you know, go, go to Expeditors online. You know, log on to our website. Look at all those different carriers that are listed on our website call them each individually and ask how you can become a partner carrier with them. Because mm -hmm. by doing that, all it's, all it's costing you is time. It doesn't cost you yeah. any money to make those calls, you know, take the time, introduce yourselves, get the paperwork, become a partner carrier with, with Panther, with FedEx custom critical, with load one, with any one of them. And what you're doing is if, if you're, if you're living in St. Louis, for example, and let's say, Let's say one of those carriers, they don't have a, a van or a, or a truck that they can put a load on. Well, guess what? So-and-so over here that's got their own authority, they've got a truck ready to roll. Right. They can now call you. You didn't even have to lift a finger. They'll call you and say, hey, you know what? We can't cover this load. Can we put it on your truck? And you've made yourself a connection. So, so echoing what you guys have already said, and I love what you're doing, making those connections. It's huge. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't stop until you have a three-page list. And, and uh, you're too busy where you can't even find it, uh, have time to find more resources. <laughs> That's the goal. That's the goal. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. I've done so, a lot of things over the years. It's it's been broadcasting, it's been, you know, trucking, it's been creative writing. I drove Uber for a while for the last three years. Same yeah. here, man. Same here, man. I loved it. I don't know about you, but I loved doing it. It was great. But it was, man. It was. I'm not gonna lie. No, it, it, yeah, it was definitely great. And uh, it was before all of this. And uh, but, you know, it, that actually working in the Uber world kind of supported me in, in then kind of jumping into my business locally because yep. I utilized a lot of gig apps in the Phoenix wow. market with my cargo okay. van to kind of kickstart my business. Um, and having that previous background, you know, of uh, using different gig apps, you know, definitely helped. So absolutely. Yeah, so yeah, you, you make me, those connections. It's who yeah. you know. You know, people say that a lot. There's a lot of truth in that. Yeah. You know what? Somebody told me one time, and it's always stuck with me because that old saying of, yeah, it's, it's you know, it's, it's who you know. It's who you know. Right. I was, I was corrected one time, and it's not about who you know. It's about who knows you. There it is. And that's like the actual most important part because that's yeah. really where the relationship building begins is like, I mean, I've met a lot of people, but do they know me? Do they know the value I bring? And do right. they know, you know, how I how I show up in the world? Because if they don't, there's not going to really be opportunity that comes about yeah. that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for me, opportunity is, is, you know, a lot of people say it's all this luck. It's luck. It's luck. Right. But like, let's let's break down what is luck. Right. You know, luck to me is something so simple, so simple, right? It's like action meets opportunity, right? It's yeah. you putting yourself in the position, taking the correct action to get yourself, get yourself in front of, you know, other people, other businesses, whatever that looks like, whether it's personal or business mm -hmm. related. And guess what? There's opportunities that come across. But if you're not reaching out, if you're not making those calls to carriers, if you're not taking action, you're not going to get lucky. Right. You're going to be stuck right. in your house. You know what I mean? Stuck in your van waiting for a load like you're not going to be making money. So take action and allow the opportunity to happen. Yeah. Right. And then that's when you're lucky, you know. Uh, so that's just my little take on luck, man. There's, <laughs> just just drive the action. You make your own. Follow. Right. Is yeah, that man. it? You make yeah. your own luck. hundred percent. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. You create your and, own path, especially yeah. in this industry. And, yep. and off of that, guys, I mean, you know, Jacob, you know, this as well as anybody else on this call. I mean, like. You are not just a driver. In some ways, you are a small businessman who is scaling your business. Um, and your business is your scale. It's your reliability. Um, mm -hmm. And it's who you are, not just as a, as a professional, but as a person. Cameron, to your point, man, you talk about, you know, what is luck? Where does luck come from? And it's, it's the intersection of action and opportunity. That, that's, that's one thing that we're excited to talk about at On Time Media, because what we try to do is bring to you the driver, the owner operator, the fleet mm -hmm. owner the opportunity. Now yeah. we can't, we can't, you know, we, we, you can lead what was the saying. You can draw, lead a horse to water. You can't make him drink. Correct. Um, but if there's nowhere to lead that horse and that horse doesn't have the opportunity, well now there's no intersection of action and opportunity. Right. So like, um, you know, I don't mean to take up any you know, tons of time here, but guys, one thing we were excited to talk to you guys about is the things that we do outside of the expedite expo. Um, you know, Christy and I had the opportunity to be on with you guys and Mateo, two weeks ago so it's yeah we just had a party every every other friday <laughs> but that's all good with us. That's all good with us. But, um, i can um, dig it so we obviously excuse me, i keep hitting my cord here but we obviously have the expedite expo coming up you know four weeks from today if you haven't yeah. registered, you know go and register for the expedite expo there is so many things to do i think i summarized it a couple weeks ago that there's there's three main reasons to go one yes. it's to learn how to make more money two oh. Meet the people who can help you scale your business and make more money. And three, have a hell have of a fun. time doing it. Yeah, yep. have a great time doing it between our our networking opportunities to casino night, the other parties, the cocktail hours. Um, it's it's a great time. It's yeah. just a good good time. And people who are, can be in the industry can know it, and people who are out of the industry can know it. Um, but we obviously so that's what we do. You know, we plan this. Year round, Christy Laurie is one of the, the the best event managers you can possibly find, especially in hands the down. Industry. Yep. Um, but there are 363 other days of the year. Um, and well, so what are y'all doing? What yeah, are y'all so doing these other days? <laughs> y'all are keeping right. It's not just a handful of people all sitting around just waiting for the middle of July in Fort Wayne <laughs> playing, 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 playing a bunch of ping pong or something. You know, I got That's pretty it. good ping pong in my day, man. But uh, yeah. no. No, we are we're all virtual, so I've never even yeah. played ping pong against Brandon. 
Oh man. I don't even know. But what we do do is um is try to find ways to help people connect and I guess create that opportunity uh, yeah. where action can intersect this. So the first thing is if you are not familiar with expedietorsonline.com, go online, yep. either on your phone, your tablet, your yep. computer, and go to expedietorsonline.com. You can do a shorthand EO, the number four me.com. On that site, you can do anything from apply for a job, get hired, uh, buy a vehicle, sell a vehicle talk on our open forums, get uh, get the latest industry news. There's plenty of blogs, which, by the way, we, guys, we get something set up with you guys on expeditorsonline.com at some point. Um, but, uh, you know, again, there's a ton of different stuff you can do in kind of a one-stop shop specifically designed for expediters. And this isn't something that we've, you know, kind of just pulled together in the last, you know, couple of months, guys. The site was launched in 1999. Wow. Uh, the internet was a fad at that point to Al Gore. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it, it was invented by a driver just as a way to foster community. And here we are 24 years later. Uh, and we don't just have an open forum. We've got a site that, that can do a whole bunch of different stuff. We have the expedite expo. We also, uh, we also push out content every Monday, every Wednesday, every Friday through our email newsletter. Uh, that database is about 47,000 people. The, wow. the guy right here on the on the screen, Brandon Braxter, is one of the, the contributing writers for that. He does a heck of a job. Um, and then we have other other uh, teams, drivers, contributors from the industry who you know provide content uh, that we push out every Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. If you go to wire-newsletter.com, uh, you'll be able to sign up for our newsletters for absolutely zero dollars, zero cents for free, and just be part of the community where we're constantly trying to inform people to be better, like I said, better people, better professionals. Um, and then the, I, I don't want to get off here without uh, mentioning the main thing that Brandon does. He kind of touched on yeah. this a little bit. Yeah. Hot, um, but right? a big thing that he yeah. does is hot. And I'm not just talking about that beard. You know what I'm saying? With a <laughs> no, no. What, what Brandon does is he, uh, what he does is, uh, I mean, he'll, he'll go through and he'll, he'll speak with carriers. He'll yeah. speak with drivers. And he'll try to connect the dots. And a lot of what he does is every day he is pouring through phone calls and trying to help create opportunities. And then it's on you guys to make that action because I mean, yeah, there man. could be all the opportunity in the world. This is America. It's one of the, it's the land of opportunity here. You guys got to be the one to make action. But what we do 365 days a year through trade shows, through content creation, through expeditorsonline.com, just CDL jobs is we try to give you that opportunity to make that connection. So I, I, again, that's kind of a word salad here for the last three yeah, and a half, four minutes here, but hopefully that kind of gives <laughs> at least a 30,000 foot view and a four minute span about what we do. Definitely. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's a little bit of on-time media, what we try to do year round. Well, Brandon, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's talk a little bit more about hot man. Well, I, I tell you what, it's, uh, it's something that we implemented uh, almost a year ago, uh, actually coming off of the expo last year, we put this into play. Um, <clears throat> as I said, my background uh, prior to all this had been really in recruiting with a couple of yeah. different carriers and, and over the years, you know, Isaac hit on it, the, the connections that I've made with some of the carriers over the years, but really, you know, it's about the drivers because when the drivers are applying, I can go into our database of, of over 80,000 driver applicants. And these are drivers who are looking for class A jobs. They're looking for, you know, straight truck jobs. They're looking for sprinter van jobs. I'll tell you what, if there's anybody out there that's looking for, for sprinter van drivers and owner operators to join a fleet right now, contact me. I've got them coming out the ears. I can find a place for them to go. These are individuals that want to drive local. They want to drive over the road. There are carriers that are looking for straight truck teams. I work with straight truck teams on a regular basis, looking to place them with some carriers. So, you know, it's it's no cost for a carrier that that if they want to use HOT and that's kind of how it works. You know, you come to me and you say, hey, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for tractor owner operators. I'm looking for straight truck teams. You know, there's no cost until that driver gets in and starts doing the work for you. So you let me do the work. You're not paying anything out of pocket until that person is in the door and, and in the seat, you know, driving for you. Um, same thing goes for, you know, sprinter van owner operators and drivers. 
like I said, there's there's a lot of it. And, and I think you guys already kind of hit on this, too. I mean, that's that's where things are going right now, you know, yeah. uh, driving your own vehicle. Yeah. And it's it's I don't want to necessarily say it's easy, but it's definitely a lot more cost effective to get into a van or a sprinter as opposed to a tractor or a straight truck. Of course. Oh, and so if you've got opportunities out there, you know, if, if you're if you're a driver watching this you know, podcast right now, I can help you find opportunities out there. If you're a carrier or a company that's looking for, like I said, sprinter van drivers, owner ops, let me know. I can I can help place those individuals with you rather quickly. That's awesome. Cameron, you know me and my my summaries, right? I summarized a whole bunch of what Christy was saying a week ago. If I yes. can summarize what we've said here in the last 24 minutes or so. Yeah, let's, let's summarize uh, it up and we'll start wrapping this, uh, yeah. wrapping this episode up. Yeah. The summary is, and I, uh, I didn't plan this. We didn't talk about this off screen before we jumped on here. I had no idea that you were going to drop opportunity <laughs> meeting uh, action and that's what <laughs> luck is. yeah when it just so perfectly happens guys that 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 is what on time media revolves around yeah we yeah. try to create that opportunity bring you as close to that watering hole as we possibly can through mm-hmm. expediters online again check it out today it's completely free to use the expedite expo if you haven't registered go to expedite expo and register today for free we want to see all out there. Yeah. Wire-newsletter.com and our content three plus times a week is wow. we try to create that opportunity. And then the people who take action off that opportunity, they're going to get pretty lucky. <laughs> take action, guys. Take action. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It's the truth, though, man. Is that, fair? Just, is that a decent summary, Brandon, Cameron, Jacob? I, I yep. think it's As the kids say, I can dig it. <laughs> yep. Guys. Don't manifest it. Don't think it's going to come to you. Got to go out there and get it, guys. Yep. That's how I got yep. all these opportunities with direct brokers, uh, other resources. Yeah, man. I went out there and I got it. I stayed up till midnight, sending multiple, multiple, yeah. multiple emails. So, guys, Jacob, take action. I want to give you you flowers a little bit, man. I mean, you're you you doing what you're doing, like true or false. You are the most experienced dude in the industry. False. False. <laughs> False. 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 <laughs> but that doesn't mean that everything that you're doing, everything that you've poured into in the amount of time that you've been in the industry, isn't just extraordinarily valuable, not just to you and your business, but what you're learning at a rapid rate, mm, what right. you're turning out in your <clears throat> communication is going to mm. help people down the line, not just take the action, but be excited about it while they do it. Yeah, so keep, absolutely. Keep doing what you're doing, man. You're, you, you cannot get, you cannot become a 20-year vet who everybody comes to because you've got mounds and mounds of experience if you don't have that excitement and that passion and that that intentionality about what you're doing and how you're doing it right now, man. So flowers to you, buddy. True Thank story. You, wow. So I, real. I appreciate yeah. that. Yep. Yep. That hits hard. Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) So closing, guys, thank you, everyone, for watching, being here. We had a late start to the podcast, so I apologize about that, guys. Make sure you guys do check out Expediters Online. It's a privilege, Brandon, to have spoken with you. You're a a big figure in this. Privilege is mine, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Brandon, so much for being here. And Isaac, thanks for touching up with us again. Um, I'm I'm excited for the Expo event. And... uh, Make sure you guys all come up to the, you know, come to the expo, come to our booth. I'll see you guys at the expo. We'll we'll do this in person. Yeah, man. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Everyone, take care and have a good day. We'll see you guys on the next one.